Well, hello guys. Today in this video, I hope I'm going to help you to solve this problem. Panda cannot recognize or fetch images path. Uh, there's a, lots of people are talking about this and uh, one of them was me and I found a solution and it's very easy and I hope this video is going to help you. If it does, please comment down below so other people will recognize that this video actually help you and do not waste time by just watching this video. Okay, so uh, let me first show you how to actually set up this plugin and what was the problem. As you can see, this is a wiki link and, and I'm going to export this to docx with using Pandoc plugin. I'm not going to show you how to install this Pandoc plugin. If you really wanted to show me to how to install this plugin, just let me know down in the comments and I will do it. But there are lots of great videos out there. You can watch them. As you can see, this plugin works like a charm right now. I'm going to double click on this Word document. It's in Turkish language and I'm studying in here. As you can see, these images are working great. But if I'm going to change this image, uh, path here. Let's remove this one. This is my assets. It works inside Obsidian just fine. But whenever I try to just use Pandoc to export this again, it's going to warn me that I couldn't fetch. I don't know where these images are located. And whenever I click this one, it's going to show you this kind of error message. Like, no, it's, it's just going to put the text inside. So, how I managed to solve this problem? First of all, let me just change this section to assets, assets, and now put this one here. It's right now I'm doing it manually, but I'm going to show you how to do it uh, inside without using manually. So let's go to the settings here, first of all, and let's just, I'm going to show you my Pandoc uh, links here and plugin actually settings and as you can see i put it leave unchanged and this is the export folder and nothing actually i changed in here but the important part is in here file and link section now in here you have to choose relative path to file okay relative path to file you have to choose this one also you need to specify the folder below and i put assets in here what i'm going to do I put assets in here. That's why whenever I put an image in here, it's going to just uh, add that folder or hold my images. But whenever you choose this one, shortest path when possible. Now let me show you. I'm going to down here, just double click several times. Let me find my assets folder. It's in inside my Obsidian file. This is my assets folder. Now I'm going to drag and drop in here. It shows great in here, but it's not the path, relative path, okay? I'm going to remove this one. Now, again, let's go to the files and links section. And for now, let's choose this one, relative path to file. Great. Now, whenever I drag and drop any file here, it's going to put my assets folder in here uh, to my link as well. And Pandoc actually knows, will find that folder, that images for you. Now, the another question, I think we solved this part, okay? You are going to choose assets and your assets and specify a folder and relative path to file. I hope you did. It. Now the next question. Let's say I'm writing an article here and let me choose this one. <laughs> I need to find an image here. Okay, maybe this one. Let me choose. Oh, wow, wow. It all have changed. I'm going to try to find a different one. Okay, I'm not going to do it anyway. I have to find one, please. Yay, this one. Okay, there is only one image, but let's say we have several images uh, before the older images, you know? You didn't know this uh, settings here. You put it like this one and you, let's say, added a bunch of images in here. Let's say 10 of them, 12 of them. I am going to add all of, okay, all of them. But right now, as you can see, these images paths are not correct. And Pandak is not going to understand this one. But you want to change it, right? You want to change it. How you're going to do it? You don't want to do it manually, right? So you need to find um, find a replace section. But inside Obsidian, I couldn't find uh, any way. That's why I went to do community plugins and browse. And then 
Just type here, replace, and uh, and done, 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 done. Yes, this one. It's not updated yet. It's not downloaded lots of time, but I hope after this one, it's going to be downloaded a lot more. It's not updated, so no problem. Just install this one inside options. There's a little settings you need to do. As you can see, this is my pasted images. I paste in lots of images uh, just using internet and that's why I use this one. But I told it that just change this pasted image to this one. I put it my assets here. But you need to change it uh, for your way, okay? Do not uh, try to... Uh, replicate the settings in your side because maybe uh, you have right now as you can see there is no pasted here that's why it's not going to work it only works when you have a pasted uh, thing right now because I don't have pasted thing in here what I'm going to do I'm going to just remove this section and uh, assets and remove this one as well what it's going to do, it's going to try to find this one and replace it by this one. Okay, so let me try. Just, I have chosen this image, command or control P and find and replace in selection here. And let me click on this one. As you can see, it added assets in here. Okay, which is great. But uh, there's a little bit warning. I did it manually. But inside, I have lots of images. That's why I'm going to control Z. I don't want to do it again and again. Uh, it's a little bit tricky, but I know that you're uh, clever people out there. You, you are very clever. That's why I'm going to command control C, not control C, like control A to select all of my images. In this one, also I have assets. That's why I'm going to just change it like this one. Now, all my images has the same uh, small not relative path links. Control A, Control P, find and replace in selection, and voila. Now all my images are there. When I click, you are going to see assets in here, assets in here. Now, whenever I try to use Pandoc to export, like for Word document, and let me find my Pandoc folder in here, double click on this one. And all my images are going to be shown in here. I hope this video helped you guys. If it does, please just leave a like. Just help me to just share this video to all other people who are using Pandoc and Obsidian within. And uh, I just wanted to help. Okay, bye-bye.